So our fantastic flirtation with the FA Cup has sadly come to an end after Carl Schultz and Athletic fell 4-1 against Boston United, but the scoreline doesn't really reflect the game as a whole. Boston took the game by the scruff of the neck early doors, but the best chance of the opening half an hour fell to Carl Shorten. Bobby Price hit a shot that beat keeper Peter Crook, but Brad Abbott spectacularly bust the gut to get back on the line and block the ball away. It was good defending, to be fair. That spurred Boston on, and they scored twice by half-time. Andy Thanos held home a 20-yard free kick. Then skipper Luke Shields headed in following a corner kick routine on 37 minutes. Carl Shorten had to do something. They made two changes, introducing Tommy Bradford and Omar Karoma to give the team an attacking flavour at the start of the second half. And it really paid dividends as the Robins put their visitors on the back foot. But sadly, they just couldn't convert their dominance into goals. Kashani Samuels, Bradford himself, Ricky Corboa, Ernie Haxiu all had great shots blocked or put wide. Paris Hamilton Downs put a header agonisingly wide of the far post and Corboa had a good penalty claim waved away by the referee. All of that until the roof came off of Colson Avenue on 73 minutes. Crook could only parry Bradford's 20-yard effort and Christy Patterson slotted home the rebound. But as Carl Shorten pushed for an equaliser, spaces were left at the back and the Pilgrims took full advantage of that in added time. Dan Odge again and sub Jake Wright both notched to give the scoreline a gloss it perhaps didn't deserve. So that's it. Despite the result, this has been a marvellous cup run and the club handled the big occasion really well. Nearly 2,000 fans inside Colson Avenue, national media attention and five good performances to reflect on. Next up is an FA Trophy second qualifying round tie against Froome Town here on Tuesday night. Let's get another run going. Come down and support Peter and the boys. For Robins TV, I'm James Barrett-Sterling and I hope once the disappointment of tonight ebbs away, you can be proud of this club and help it to push on forward.